Hey guys, this is gonna be a short update video. Just wanted to give you some latest updates from Starbase. Yesterday, Booster 7 came alive once again. Right now, Booster 7 is parked on a transport stand at the cryo station near the orbital launch mount for the last few weeks. Yesterday, we could see some venting coming off from the top of the booster. I wish this booster gets lifted soon onto the OLM and start testing again. Another interesting thing we saw at the launch site was the new fire suppression system. Here, I am not talking about the fire suppression system of the OLM. The orbital tank farm has now its own fire suppression system. SpaceX did activate this system at least a couple of times. We didn't see this during the static fire test, but during an actual launch, the exhaust plume from the booster will release a massive amount of heat. To keep the orbital tank farm cool from the heat, SpaceX has now installed this system. As I said in my last video, Stage 0 is still evolving with tweaks and changes. Once it's done, SpaceX will focus on achieving the larger goal of how to fly a Starship perfectly. A recent flyover above Starbase by RGV Aerial Photography showed us new images of an upcoming mega bay at the production site. The already existing two Starship stacking and maintenance buildings are at full capacity. I'm kinda wondering how many of these buildings will be constructed in the future. OneWeb Launch 18 mission was successfully launched from India yesterday. The medium lift vehicle, the LVM-3 rocket sent the last batch of 36 OneWeb Gen 1 satellites into orbit. With this mission, OneWeb completed the launch of its first-generation low-Earth orbit satellite constellation. Let me end the video here for now. Thank you for watching till the end.